the front end being this mangled. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a problem. Dude, I put a brand new carb on this thing. All right, so I know a lot of you have probably wondered where uh, a lot of familiar faces are around here. So I figured we would uh, fill you in on where everybody's at. So let's start off with her, AKA Hollywood Hurt. He's currently overseas right now filming Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. That's gonna be uh, airing on NBC May 30th with our buddy Rutledge Wood as well. And hopefully when he's done with that, we'll still see him around here. That is uh, if he's willing to take our calls. But then of course we got Danger Dan. Now, about a year ago, Danger Dan actually moved back to the Midwest, back home. And uh, recently he's been working with the boys over at RTR on the drift team. So Vaughn Getton, Chelsea DeNova, Adam LZ, and of course, James Dean. Actually, they were just out here for Formula Drift Long Beach and uh, we had Danger Dan shredding in the BRZ in the back. What? He even threatened to come back and fix Shark Cart for Jim Connor Grid, uh, so you may even see him on Garage Garage this year. Oh, sing it. Garage Garage! Woo! So much better than the rest of us. Hey, See, this is, why, this is why you need Dan. That's right. It felt good. I haven't done that in a while. And finally, with all the build content coming back, a lot of you have asked for Soupy and Grim. Now, those guys, they were brought on to handle some of our really big builds, like the Warthog, the Rolls Royce, the Indy truck. But this year, we're getting back to our roots, building this super sketchy, dangerous, way overpowered personal vehicles that we've always wanted to do. And we're even bringing back to life some neglected vehicles that haven't run for a while, like this. Hopefully when we do kick off another really crazy build, you're gonna see them in some new content, but these boys are actually working at a top secret base. I turned myself into a pickle. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? Is this thing on? Am I doing this right? It's been a long time. So, earlier today, actually yesterday, Scotto had the bright idea of, uh, well, getting the old tow truck running. Now, if you don't know what the old tow truck is, a couple years ago, we uh, bought an old Chevy C10 tow truck. The boys decided that we needed a wrecker for the yard, and we got this. Can we please shut the door? Love you, bro. It would essentially be used to pull cars that blew up off of the yard during our burnyard shows. Let's just go find the uh, boys here and see what this debacle is. No. What? Stop it. Free engines. So what? It's, it, it's, a, it's a giant paperweight. No, it's not. Cut to 10 valve turbo noises. <laughs> okay, recut to fucking blown Hemi noises. Recut to Sanford and Son. I'm Sanford and this is Son. <laughs> this is now like the third one of this I have. You couldn't help yourself. No. There's another one of these up on the rack, isn't there? There's another one of these on the rack. It's like, this is called an MC1, the one on the rack's an MC2. Has an extra knock sensor, but it's pretty much the same engine. Brand wind part. Speaking of which. That's a great transition, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, what, what I asked you to do the other day? Brian Scotto called me up and is like, hey, you think you can sell the, uh, the tow truck, the C10? And I said, sure, does it run? And I said, well, it ran when, when parked. Yeah, exactly. So we built that truck to be a wrecker at Burnyard. We used to have to like tow strap them, so we're like, let's go get a wrecker. We'll build this cool wrecker. We did it with our friends at Edelbrock. And then you can, did you drive it? Are you the reason no, it doesn't no, run now? No, I was in the passenger seat. Corey Hosford was driving it. We wanted to debut it. Uh, with a burnout. In order to get it to do a burnout, Corey basically slammed it in an okay rail and just tried to let it eat. And it ate for a couple seconds until it didn't. So anyway, today is uh, an episode of Will It Run? Yes, Will It Run. Remember the front end being this.
this mangle. Didn't you steal parts off of this for one of your trucks? The front end or something? No, it's the this grill. is the old grill that was in my C10. It's your boy. It's his matching truck. Oh, uh, yeah. First he was embarrassed, but now his boy hyped. Look at him. Look at him. He's so excited. <laughs> what well, the f that's a problem. You're missing something. Oh, we've been what pillaged by the village tweakers. Dude, I put a brand new carb on this thing. Yeah, well, that's not there anymore. Neither are a bunch of thing, other things they cut. Oh, this just became not as easy of a thing to do anymore. And you know what's nice, though? They left the hardware behind for us, so at least we don't <laughs> yeah. need that. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this build up here in the rain train. Dude, this is like straight out of the jungle. Like, why is that? What do you think? That is one big pile of shit. Oh my god, these seats are horrible. You'd be pretty sick. See, I'm happy you have the same vision I do. Yeah, that's why I have 10 vehicles. Yo, change out the seats in here. I guess this thing maybe at some point was a manual, and then they converted it to auto. To maybe we put it back to manual. Sick. Yeah, they may have stolen some wires. But we could start the engine without any of that stuff. Yeah, it's carbureted. Yeah. Oh, sick, here's a jack handle. There you go. Just grab that corner piece right there. Just get under that hook. If then we could just ratchet strap it in place. There you go. That's just lifting the whole thing. It's amazing these things still hold air. Do you keep filling these up or are they just no, held air? They just held air. That's the biggest selling point of them. I'm getting more and more excited about this vehicle as it goes. We're like seven minutes into this episode in our life. I've already gone from we should just try to make it run to like we should save it. Because it literally says for sale on that window over there. But I'm already thinking we should keep it. Please just somebody take it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's it's bending the f***ing bed up. By the way, product placement, Hoonigan, DOT legal, f***ing tow straps, bend a tow truck. Or tie down straps, I should say. By the way, anything's a tow strap, including a belt. I'm also, I didn't really f***ing mean this today. <laughs> but you can use one of these as a tow strap if you want. Tie down look strap, at, look, at oh, look at the anchor. Look at the, blur all this. Oh, look, at the, look at the, look at the. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Perfect fit. Oh, 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 oh. Dang. Look at that. Yeah, that's gonna pull that bumper right off if that's. Oh. All the noises. Oh my god. Oh. It sounds like they broke the dip. What's the move here? Since uh, our friendly vagrant friends seem to um, delete our carburetor from our engine setup, we're gonna look for one here. That right there that's, is the that's... original Donk engine that has 65,000 original miles on it. Can you, can you lift me up here real quick? Yeah. Oh, jeez, god go dang. Yeah. All right, so this one does have a carb. Is that like a two yeah, like like this a four barrel. looks like it's got, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, you sure we want to just strip this off of here? Why don't we just do the whole motor? Let's see if this one works. <laughs> okay. You may need to put, yeah, you're clear. Go ahead. Yeah, tilt your fork, you're good. Grab that shit. I'm happy we finally are using an engine from the engine wall. Just drop it down right here so we can just pull parts off of it. Just turn around, 180. Yeah. It's actually not bad. Let's see what we got under here. That's sick. That'll work. That'll get it to start. The old quadrajet, eh? Rochester quadrajet. Getting the 
this running today? Sure, in the next like hour. We don't have a key for this thing though, do we? No, no. I'm trying Wait. to jam stuff in here. Just to get it to turn over, or just turn. So you get the cylinder out, but. <laughs> in Grand Theft Larceny. <laughs> yeah, I broke the cylinder out, so I just gotta get all the pieces. And then we can just turn it with this. Sick. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right, put this bad boy in bypass mode, so it'll start. All right, we're just gonna crank it just to see if it'll spin. I have no dash lights. Is the power on? Oh. Hold on, stop, stop, we got a problem. The actual positive cable is just not in the battery. We gotta take this off and redo it, coach. <laughs> Ridiculous. We're gonna try to crank this bad boy. We were gonna turn it over by hand, but it's really, really hard to get to the fucking crank and whatever. If it doesn't turn, it doesn't turn, and then we pull the motor out and this episode's over. Nice, does it, we will make sure it's in neutral, right? Yeah, we pushed <laughs> it in here. Like, okay. Do the thing you do. But like, I'd still step back a foot just yeah. in case. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh! oh! Okay, so now what? Turn it on, Ben. Oh! oh! Spin, it, spin it. Oh, we good. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's gonna fire. That thing's free as a bird. Let's get the car Free as a bird now. Do we want to suck anything out of this manifold with the vacuum, or do we want? Yeah. Oh, you got the boroscope? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna check it. Oh, by the way, do it again. If you're over 40, get your colon colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Prostate, prostate exam? Yeah. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I probably should. Damn, I'm not even close to 40, but what you think it felt like? Uh -huh. Have you ever had a thing? Uh, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Go see Jason Ellis. <laughs> Look how high tech we're going. We got the bore scope in here. We're so. just making sure that nothing's falling in here because it's been open. I only counted three bolts, so that's why I'm wondering if there's three bolts or three. There. Three nuts, I mean, sorry. I don't know. Stick the back. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Just, yeah. I didn't see <laughs> Oh. Ah. It tastes like nipple piercings. <laughs> this isn't very scientific, but probably get the leaves out. Let's just get the rest of this shit off of here while we've got a vacuum here. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, so can, you know. What is, is that? Do you think we even use this, or do we go gasket only? We got this Permatex Holy. Optimum Max Temp Gasket Maker Red for hot. Oh, that's hot. 750 mm -hmm. motherfucking degrees. Oh man, that means we can overheat the shit out of this thing again. <laughs> that's what we're into. Yeah. We should make sure if that's a split bore. Yeah, that works. Yeah. We're gonna skip the gasket. We're gonna just go with some gasket maker. Oh, this is like so easy with this nice yeah. tip. It's pretty nice. You don't I know, have to right? Use pliers and squeeze it too. <laughs> Set it down and pull it back off just to see what the uh, what the imprint is, real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Of course. Even though, do we really care if it's slightly off? Wow. Here we go. Oh, I mean, that looks. Oh, money. Look at, dude. Yeah. Money. Absolute. That's actually good that we did that. Let's put a little extra right here. I, I guess we should probably just put it on this. Yeah, it probably would have made more oh, sense, okay. but. What's up, Ron Anderson? <laughs> hey! Oh damn, are you are you in the digger's dungeon? Yeah man, I'm in the dungeon. I, I came in here to snag you a couple of those retro shirts. Oh hell yeah. What's up man, look at all that. How you doing? We out here doing big block stuff. Well not really, we're doing small block stuff and we had to steal parts from a big block to do it. But we're doing square body hey, stuff. Let me get a peek at square bodies. Oh yeah, pulled out. Yeah, so we actually cleaned her up, man. We're gonna try to get her fired up. Oh. So what's going on, man? Well, he's setting up for a museum, so walking through, looking at all of this retro build, together all of the original grave diggers. So he's got them all in the shop now, moving around. The Our huge shop is now tiny. Nice. Well, if you uh, if you have any like spare blown big blocks that you just want to you know, send our way, you're more than welcome to. I don't know how many I got in the back shop right now because we're mid swing on season. We've been tearing them to pieces, but I might have like a spare like blower set up. I can take it. We can definitely take that. Well, hey, man. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, man. See you guys later. Good luck with them big block, small block parts. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah. There you go. Use that. Get the burrs out with the inside of that. Clean that up. We only need like three tools to do this. Have we put fresh fuel in here? Let's do it. Let's dump some fresh fuel in that boy. To make it look nice. Is that rain? Yeah. Boom, it's coming! Yeah, and it's big chunks. Oh, what? shit! Oh, that's crazy! Out of that one cloud! Yeah, dog. Nope. <laughs> look 
how fast you can build things if you don't really care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give it fuel with the starter fluid. Hopefully, the mechanical fuel pump starts to eventually kick in. We put fresh fuel in the tank. We don't know what was in it, and maybe spark works. Let's be honest, no one knew they were doing this until this morning, so. Yeah. This would be a great time to let anybody know that uh, you know happens to own a tool company that uh, we are open to sponsorship. Yeah, we do not currently have a tool sponsor. Think well, this video is uh, pillage. <laughs> he weren't supposed to be there. He wants to do what you want to do. The James is doing the cranking. Yeah, so just do the down into here. Ready? Right, start it out a little bit. Give it. Oh, you get the battery. Give it up. Uh, yeah, give it up there. There you go. There you go. All right, again. All right. Ready? See what you do. Here we go. Oh! it right up. Wait, right, hit it again. See if we can get them to start pulling some fuel through. We, we filled the tank, right? Bypass off, hold on. Crank it a little bit, let's see if we can get the fuel part. It's mechanical fuel part. All right, stop. If just the ground isn't good enough. You, are you getting something from that? All right, let's give it again. What the f***? Hey. The smell of success. Yeah. You know what? I knew we could do it. Well, actually, I had my doubts. We made it work, and we did it in under four hours. Now we got a couple other things we got to do, right? I mean, we should probably take care of this thing slightly. Do an oil change, give it an air filter, clean and stuff on it. Probably do some vacuum lines. Uh, you should deal with the wiring because, uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, uh, it's messy. Whatever. <laughs> as long as it runs, just keep it running. And brakes. Brakes. Oh wait, drivetrain. Oh yeah. oh yeah, so I think the next thing we need to do is put this thing up on the lift and figure out what all that clunking noise was. It was probably had something to do with you guys putting it against the wall and running it. If you're in the car, you're making the decision. Now that you know that this thing runs, holler at us if you want to buy it, because it's probably going to go up for sale pretty soon. Or comment below if you think we should actually just embark on a massive project with this thing. See you guys. Next episode. As many of you may know or may not know, I'm like the Skyline guy here. So I've had a 32, a 33, took the motor out my 32, put it in my 33, had a 34, a few of them, a couple four doors, and now I have this 34 coupe.